Meteorites! There's meteorites everywhere! Well, there are, but don't freak out about it. All right. Hey everyone, we've got Ian here from discoverynews.com to outsmart us all about space. Hi Ian. Welcome. Hi Trace. In the early hours of Sunday morning, a fireball lit up the skies over Murmansk in Russia. Mm -hmm. The fireball was most likely a chunk of comet that slammed into the upper atmosphere and then vaporized really quickly. Is that right? It's true. The whole event was helpfully captured by numerous cameras sitting on dashboards in cars. There are no reports of any damage, and so it was just really a pretty light show for a few dash cam enthusiasts. Okay, and the term fireball is actually a scientific term, right? For it is. bright meteor. In this case, it's unlikely that much, if any, of the meteor survived its little fiery plunge through our atmosphere, of course. Of course, this most recent event probably brings back memories of another Russian city getting hit by another fireball, which happened last year over the city of Chel Chelyabinsk in Russia. Now, that Russian meteor generated a huge fireball, generating a very powerful shockwave, which caused hundreds of injuries and millions of dollars worth of property damage to the city. But the injuries were mainly from flying glass from mm -hmm. the sonic boom that it caused as it came through the air, which is kind of crazy to think about. But overall, yeah. it was kind of a smallish asteroid, right? 20 meters, 14,000 tons. As far as asteroids go, pretty dinky. Right. So chunks of the asteroid were big enough, though, to slam into the ground, including a three-quarter ton lump that popped into a frozen lake. I remember that. But you have yeah. to remember this most recent event, the Murmansk one, it burned up in the atmosphere. It was tiny in comparison to the Chelyabinsk incident last year. Why? Is Russia always getting hit by these meteors? Do meteors just like it better? Which is fine, I'm totally okay with that, I'm just wondering. Well, meteor showers are very, very common. We get them, Russia gets them, we get them at a regular rate. So that's not a weird thing. But Russia has been hit by a lot of large space rocks. I mean, this is a fact. So take the Tunguska event back in 1908. I mean, that was a big space rock that flattened about a million trees in a 800 square mile radius. Um, and it delivered uh, an energy of around about a thousand times of the Hiroshima bomb that was uh, dropped in, in World War II. Russia's received all these, uh, these impacts because it's just a very big country. It's just the fact that it's a large target for the universe to hit with space rocks. That's, I guess that's a good point. I, that makes me worry a little bit less because also police corruption and insurance fraud in Russia means everybody has these dash cams on their cars. Yeah. So the meteors are more caught on tape it's not that they're getting hit more, we're just seeing them more. And then we can see them and we can play them back and we can watch them again and again and we can freak out about how many there are. There are so many. Again, pull yourself together. All right. We can get, over, we can get through this together, Trace. It's okay. <laughs> So last weekend's fireball was probably only a very small chunk of comet material from Comet Thatcher. Comet Thatcher actually creates the annual Lyrid meteor shower. And again, as I said, meteor showers happen all the time. So this isn't a weird thing. So Russia isn't taking a cosmic battering. It's just a very big country. And there's a lot of people that love videoing themselves while driving. Hmm. So it's just by pure chance. And there's a lot of eyewitnesses. OK, I think I got it. But I'm guessing Canada gets hit a lot too then, and True. maybe Australia, and probably us, because, you know, they're all pretty good-sized countries. But this Earth Day, space experts announced that Earth is getting hit by sizable asteroids more often than we thought. Like, three to ten times more often. Is that not a reason to freak out? I feel like it is. No. This is according to the B612 Foundation, a non-profit group of experts concerned about mankind getting wiped off the globe by an undiscovered huge asteroid. That sounds awful, but I guess they'd want to be a bit more sensational then. Well, 26 significant asteroid impacts have been detected in the Earth's atmosphere since 2001. Fortunately, they didn't really occur over um, populated areas, but they were a Chelyabinsk scale event. So they were big and they would have produced a big shockwave. What is significant is none of the 26 small asteroids that hit the atmosphere were detected before they hit the atmosphere, which is kind of a, an issue that the B612 uh, Foundation is pointing out. And they say it's only by blind luck that we haven't been hit by a city-killing asteroid bite before now. Ian, that sounds awful! It's serious, but really don't worry about it. Right. Our civilization does have a bit of a blind spot when it comes to small asteroids, but there's a lot of efforts underway to detect these things. So, for example, the B612 Foundation, they are developing a space, space telescope that's actually going to be detecting these small asteroids. They're called, it's called the Sentinel Program. Sounds nice. I mean, I was just looking this up. The, the, we've got the Space Guard projects. We've got NASA's we NEOWISE infrared space telescopes too, looking for near-Earth impacts or threats. So that's good, right? 
Yeah, right? That's good. good. That's good. Yeah, so we're slowly waking up to the fact that we are overdue a large asteroid impact that could give humanity a very bad day. Oof, gosh. Are you guys freaked out about asteroid impacts? Share your fears with us below in the comments and subscribe for more D News. Ian, if people want to come find you, where can they do that? You can find me on discoverynews.com. Otherwise, you can find me on Twitter at AstroEngine. Thanks for watching. Bye.